Hello everyone. Oh. Ah. Hello everyone, this is Daniel and I'm going to be making a simple worded video. Seems like you all want to actually um, see something simple, so um, the one that got second place where the most um, good amount of people is the word Antichrist. So I'm going to be talking about what the Antichrist is. So, the Antichrist, who is he? Unfortunately, these days we don't know who he is. But the Bible does give us a hint on who he really is going to be. Um, I mean, this is going to be from video later on, but you know. Basically, the Antichrist is someone that really loves deceiving people. He does it for the deceit and all that jazz, okay. So, he also has his false prophet and um, the beast inside of him. So, the false prophet is in um, Rome, and the beast is based in Rome. So, you might want to know about that later on, or at least a little later on. But the Antichrist is uh, someone who is going to Jerusalem, and... Um, He's literally um, finding way to uh, finding a way to get an animal slaughtered, like some sort of uh, false animal slaughtered on that day, and you know all kinds of sins with that animal. So, love defect and lots of um, horrible things with that animal. Won't be a dog, maybe a pig. Um, could just be another unclean animal. It could be something else that's really unclean. So that's the sacrifice right there. Um, but also we have to know that um, what is an antichrist? There are many around the world today. Um, just but um, a whole, just about a good percentage of the world is an antichrist. Even some Christians are. Um, so or so called what they call themselves Christian. So what is an antichrist? An Antichrist is a person that, um, you know, let's just say that they're going against the biblical scriptures in the Bible. And of course, they uh, either they go against the scriptures of the Bible, or they hate God. They could be false prophets. They could be anything like this, the um, Antichrist. You know, oops, that's a little too close. Oh. Okay. So an antichrist really, um, you know, basically, uh, it's kind of what the Bible says, kind of, um, hiding themselves, not thinking about others, they're not really loving, they're actually full of hate. Excuse me, either that or they're puffed up full of pride, and full of, uh, sexual immorality or something like that. So that's pretty much what an antichrist is. So. So basically, the really main thing about the antichrist is that, um, oh, oops, I'm near the computer. That wouldn't have been fun. He has, um, spirits of uh, Antichrist. Like, I mean... <sighs> what do I describe it like? Just look, up, look, just look it up on the Bible um, versus what is an Antichrist. So, um... I have information about Antichrist, but... We might want to look up further information, but you know... Like I said, there are... Um, people that are um, not Christ-like, um, they're opposite of Christ-like, you know, Christ healed the, you know, like, Christ would heal the people that are crippled, he would love the people that are crippled, let's say that people are, um, hating the people that are crippled, let's say that they, um, absolutely hate them deep inside of their heart, and, um, do nothing about them, but, you know, they destroy their lives, or something like that, or, you know, 
person that um, doesn't care for the crippled, doesn't care for the disabled, and they um, don't say hi to them, they don't um, reply to them, they don't do what the disabled person person wishes, that's the Antichrist. Um, and also, um, if they're proud and, you know, Jesus was humble, but if they're proud and think they're um, higher than everyone else, that's Antichrist. Um, lots of things can mean Antichrist. Um, being filled with monsters is Antichrist. And um, also, doing sexually immoral things, doing um, murder things, being corrupt. You know, being a, um, an unbeliever is an Antichrist as well. Um, them doing the things that you love to do that are wrong, that's being cowardly, and that's an Antichrist. Then there's um, doing witchcraft, that's Antichrist. There's doing idol worship, that's Antichrist. And then the liars um, that love lying, that was Antichrist. Anything that's the opposite of Jesus is Antichrist. Also, um, preaching false things is Antichrist. So basically, um, and also, Jesus was telling, was always for the truth, but if you, um, love for, um, deceit and falsehood, that's Antichrist. Satanism is Antichrist as well. You know? So like I said, anything that's opposite of Christ, I mean, he's the ruler of the universe, but he would never be the ruler of the earth. That is something that um, is obvious as the main Antichrist. So, there's the main Antichrist, which is filled with um, all kinds of horror and sin, but doesn't, but pretends he is clean. So, um, the first things he does, he is the, um, is revealed, then he does also, um, he also sacrifices the opposite of what God wants of, as an animal, like the lamb. He sacrifices a very unclean animal. Possibly a disabled alligator, maybe. Or maybe even a, a disabled sink. Maybe even a disabled snake. You know, that kind of animal, right? So... Then he, um, proclaims to be Christ and deceives others and gives out the mark of the beast. That's what he does immediately. They kills um, everyone that is, um, in Jerusalem that are Jews. Secretly. So yeah, that's, um... That's a whole bunch of deceit right there. Um, and then he um, literally, you know, after a few um, years, um, maybe a little less, he goes out killing Christians because of what someone has done. Basically, he kills Christians uh, when the Christians rebel, and then. Later on, he forces the um, mark of the base on everyone that is uh, Christian or not Christian. And then he basically gets defeated. And then there's the beast. There is, is his beast, which is what we call his demon. And basically he says, oh, this beast is basically the mark, his symbol for his company. So basically the beast is Yobel. Pope Yobel. Remember that name, okay? So that, peep, that, so that um, beast is Pope Yobel. Then it's another pope by um, the false prophet. That might also have the that actually also has a spirit. And basically, um, the beast is basically a dragon. And, um, you know, 
I would say also Satan is also the dragon and you know the um then there's also the um spirit named Babylon which will be defeated later on. So literally this is what's gonna happen basically the um, Pope I don't know. Basically Yobel will call himself Pope Yobel and will give his mark to everyone that receives it and he will end up, you know, defeating a lot of Christians. He will trick a lot of Christians for um, a couple of Christians I lost and he will get his revenge because of a couple of Christians. I mean, got the information from God that was actually one of the Christians that um, he wants to get um, a revenge from. And there's another one that I don't even know. So, let's just be simple. The Antichrist is the complete opposite of the Christ that we know in the Bible. And he breaks all the um, laws of um, Christ. Do not be cowardless. Uh, do not be cowardice. Do not be, um, what is it? Don't be um, an unbeliever. Don't uh, murder. Don't be um, corrupt. Don't be um, sexually immoral. Don't be uh, playing witchcraft. Don't be um, playing with idols. And don't lie. He will do all of these and trick the masses completely beyond all measure. And he will even trick the masses by looking like Christ. Then he will have the whole, his own pro false prophet as his own um, deceiver. Then, Christ will come and he will take everyone away that really is with him. By what I mean is, out of the many that many thousands of lines, there will be there will only be three lines that will come to him in the rapture. Out of the thousands, the many thousands, and there will be only twelve out of the um, hundreds of thousands or a million. So it's um, our duty to really believe in God and not fall away, like I've seen other people do. Believe in God and bring may you have some of these people have hope. And may God be with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, I'll be done now, okay? Bye. Not bad.